Found this for $20 while I was on vacation. What's up everybody, I'm Good Apart. Today we're up at Crown Zenith. Been a little while since so I've actually opened up this set, so picked this up. They also had the Reggie Electric, but I'm pretty sure I've opened up both of these already, but just decided to at least pick up one of these for cheap. So let's see, can I actually get this open? Come on. Okay. Well, no, it's not going to be all clean cleanly. But let's see. I'm trying to get this open. It's not fun. Okay. I think I got it open. I don't want to do anything stupid. Hold on a second. Okay, finally got this open. I'm not even gonna lie, that was a pain. Let's get everything out of this best I can and quickest I can. Not sure really what I'd want from this set. I've pulled, I actually don't remember what I pulled from this set. I don't think, ooh, sorry about that. Here's the uh, code card and here's the two uh, promos. One's an actual promo, this is Sword and Show number 281. And this is just a, one of those cosmic hollows from, I don't know what set exactly that the Reggie Electric comes from, but I know it's just a cosmic hollow version of this main set one. But I am excited to open up four packs of Crown Zenith. Let me bring down my, my camera and fix that because I did smack my pyro. Okay. I think the Giratina is still the best card in this set, price-wise. But I could be wrong, and, and I know Mewtwo is still good. I think the Arceus? I think all the gold cards are still pretty good. I have not hit any. Is it four to the front still? Yeah, okay. This is Sword and Shield. I have to remember that because I'm so used to opening up Scarlet and Violet. Shaman, Matang, me, uh, Growth, me, Galarin, Meowth, I cannot speak today, Wilmer, Shinx, Marvesta, we have an Oddish, we have no, ooh, sorry, did not mean to smack my, uh, microphone, and we have nothing, we have some cards trying to poke me in the stomach, and we just have a Zora, but a, that is at least a rare reverse holo. So I forget that this doesn't guarantee you a hit per pack like Scarlet and Violet does. Or even of the other set they've done, like these middle sets. Where it is a guaranteed holo per a pack. We do have a lightning energy. Digging duo. Muxia. Lost Vacuum. Amolga. Love Disc. Chatot, Yanma, Ponyard. Okay, we do have a Magmortar. What is that? The Gallery. And we do have the Leon signature, like fake signature card. So really cool to see at least those. I am happy for the Magmortar because that's one I've actually wanted. I know the Mew's still good, by the way. And the Mew too. This set will be a good set to go back to. I feel like there's so many good gallery hits. I don't really know what you call them technically. I think that's what they're, they call them. I've not hit too many spectacular ones. I think the best one I hit was Zora. The VMAX one? Mr. Mime. I feel like the camera's... Okay. Uh, Stud and Kern. Coughing. Oddish. Sandalit. We do have a Dust Clops, and we just have a Luxio non hollow Looks like so far, really nothing other than a hollow and a, why do I keep trying to do it upside down? Maybe one more hit? I'm just trying to think what else we really could hit that does end up being good. I definitely think that Magmortar is our best. 
has to be. Let me. Because I'm pretty sure that foil Leon is not worth anything. I'd be surprised if any of the hollow cards in this set are worth something. We have Rock Rough, Perline. We have an Energy Switch, and we just end off with a Blossom. So nothing really too spectacular from this box, but we did at least manage to hit one Magmortar and a Foil Leon. But that's gonna be it. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.